the lemon, whatever it is that you're using, the nuts, nuts and berries, it's not working. This is aluminum. Herb Gotti, I agree with you, sis. We're going to talk about that funk up. Like, we know that it exists, but we want to know why does it exist? My name is Jay. I'm a clinical herbalist and a holistic health coach. And yeah, a long time ago, I used to be part of that team of team. Dan, that's you. Like, you know how they have like memes out there where they be talking about some all balls stink. It's a known fact because ultimately we are what we eat. And half the times what we eat stinks or it's getting putrid inside the body. So, you know, we're going to keep it simple. Three things that's making your armpits stink. I'm going to make it real funky for you. Damn, that's nice and smooth. I'm really showing my age. So the most obvious, obviously, is going to be bacteria. Bacteria is number one. Staphylococcus hominis. Homina, homina. Get it together. Staphylococcus hominis. Basically, it's a bacteria that feeds off of the uh, secretions that come from the armpits. And our armpits have these things called uh, eccrine glands, which secretes another compound called apocrine, which the bacteria likes to utilize. And then it makes the... So like apocrine is like this thick milky substance that actually gets secreted under the arms and in the genital area. So it's a little bit thicker than like, you know, regular watery ass sweat. Now the key is under normal circumstances, managing the bacteria should manage the smell. This is why some people who are trying to go natural, they'll try to use things to kill the bacteria. Like that strawberry lemonade you mentioned. So in theory, if you use something that pretty much disrupts the entire flora and fauna or the ability of the flora and fauna to be able to maintain itself under the arms, a slice of lemon or using some alcohol or something that contains a saw compound, it should basically neutralize the smell that's produced for a couple of days. Yes, a couple of days. But, but, but there's a, there's, there's a couple of problems with that. This leads us to number two. Boom! Aluminum. It actually makes you stink. I mean, I don't even want to get into how bad aluminum is. Like, I, I, I will talk for about an hour and a half consistently on how toxic aluminum is. But, you know, when we look at our deodorants, we're going to see aluminum chlorohydrate, aluminum zirconium hydroxide, and all these different compounds. And what does that aluminum do to the body? Interferes as a toxic metal. Functions as an endocrine disruptor. And if your hormones are jacked, your smell is going to be jacked. The secret was pH balanced for a woman. pH balanced to keep you on the team forever. Like, sidebar, remember those um, yellow stains? People would get under the t-shirts and, you know, you'd have to pretty much get rid of that shirt because after wearing it for a while, it starts to change color. That's actually your body trying to get rid of the aluminum that's trapped in the glands that are in your lymphatic system. It's like that's almost part of the trap. Once you use our aluminum, you'll always be a customer. And because I'm on TikTok, I am not going to go through the list of things that it contributes to. And I will never say that aluminum is the cause or the primary cause, but I will say that it definitely helps to cook the Petri dish of all the problems a lot of people are experiencing. Stop sugarcoating it. Number three. Damn, you know what? I, I didn't even really think about what number three could be because I could talk about the liver, I can talk about the kidneys, or I could talk about your adrenal glands because like every last one of them will make you stink. I hate sounding like a broken record, but when we don't take time to detoxify ourselves, essentially our liver needs help. It has over 500 different functions, and one of its functions is to help clean out some of the toxic metals. So when we're actually putting aluminum in our body, our liver's going, damn, get that stuff out. So it's trying to push the aluminum back up through your system. So the liver's trying to pump it out. We're putting it back in. Ooh, free OG psyllium husk. The human body is like an absolute amazing machine. So it'll try to keep most of the toxins in the lower part of the body just to keep it away from the spinal column and the brain. But sadly, as it goes on, it starts to build up, 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 up. Then your armpits stink. You start having halitosis. Your feet was stinking a long time ago. Them nuts and berries down there be smelling like hot Cheetos and garbage. Because our liver, which is our primary filter, ain't filtering-ish no more. Tell them about the stress. So our adrenal glands make this stuff called norepinephrine. And norepinephrine has a direct impact on the apocrine glands, which are those areas in the, you know, under the arms, juices and berries. They sound beautiful. So essentially, when you are stressed, you activate this hormone that pretty much gives you a stress response, and that stress response makes you stink. Yo, sidebar, my bestie used to be like, yo, where does Bond? They pissed me off. They made me stink. <laughs> now I know exactly what they mean. Newsflash. Everyone in the United States is stressed. This place is, it's very special. Like, not to mention, like, if you have a, a stressful episode, it can take up to eight hours before your body, like, comes down from that stress and it'll deactivate. So you funky for eight hours, guaranteed or your money back. Herb got you out. Oh, and yeah, I, I haven't worn deodorant in like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna go back about a good five years. And anybody's open to a sniff test if you wanna check it, cause, and please don't be nice, 
Tell me the truth, but it's been thousands. This thing right here, nah, I'm good. But I also detox four times a year when the season shifts. Herb Gotti out.